This video is sponsored by Puzzle Bobble Every Bubble. The Puzzle Bobble franchise began in 1994 with the release of Bust a Move, which created the entire bubble shooter genre. The game was quickly cloned by others in 1995 and on your phones in the 2000s, but it has now come back years later with a new bubble bursting adventure. Puzzle Bobble Every Bubble brings Bub, Bob, Peb, and Pab to Rainbow Island, where mini runes, who are mysterious creatures similar to Bub, live. One day, the mini runes suddenly start blowing bubbles, covering the whole island and causing problems for the residents. Can Bub, Bob, Peb, and Pab stop the mischief? It's up to the players to make sure that solving dozens of smart bubble-based puzzles in typical fashion can save the entire day. The game features a story mode that can be played with up to four players, a 2v2 co-op battle mode, but that's not all. There's also online co-op for one to four players and special Puzzle Bobble vs. Space Invaders modes as well. The game does cater to those who are colorblind and there are even more extra characters. Puzzle Bobble Every Bubble is available on Nintendo Switch right now. Why don't you go check out Puzzle Bobble Every Bubble by clicking on the links down in the description. So this is a little bit of a strange video because it involves a leak for a Nintendo Direct that is isn't even confirmed yet to be happening and it's coming in a way that we've already been taught a harsh lesson on in the past about stuff like this however i mean at least this is an account that's been around since 2019 so they're not new and look we learned a lesson about this a while ago but we were going to talk about it anyways on the off chance that this person is not just pulling another fast one and because frankly speculating on the next direct is just a hell of a lot of fun so what are we talking about well we got a couple game supposed leaks from a twitter account that has gotten stuff correct in the past now raise your hands down in the comment section if you've heard that one before you guys remember some of the other ones we've covered in the past that turned out to not actually be legit leakers even though they had gotten stuff correct in the past as well. It turns out one of them in particular, Samus Hunter, was just taking leaks from actual insiders and posing them as their own in a public-facing way and claiming all of the credit. You know, that's a pretty shady thing to do. Can't credit Emily Rogers or Nate the Hate or the people that actually put this information out there. Uh, and hey, I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm just as much to blame there because I was giving Samus Hunter credit. Oh, and remember Waddle D knows? Yeah, a fake account made by a certain well-known person in the YouTube area, especially in John, who now works at CVG. Yeah, man, he made that just to prove how easy it was to create these Twitter accounts and fake that you're an insider by just posting a bunch of stuff deleting all the stuff that's not true, leaving all the stuff up that's right, and suddenly you are now an insider. Now, I did do a little digging into this Twitter account we're about to talk to, looking at other websites for deleted tweets, and I didn't see anything or any red flags to suggest that they are pulling a Waddle D nose, but as we've had to learn over time, this is a Twitter account I've never heard of. It is one that follows nobody. And honestly, I found out about it because of my Nintendo news, not because of somebody like messaging me about it. It appeared on a news website. So we're going to talk about it because the account we're talking about is, pa is P Yoro underscore ND. Now, again, again, I put my disclaimers out there. This could be another Waddle D nose situation. But the reason they're getting attention is because of some stuff they've already done this year. As an example, on June 6th, they said, hashtag Sonic Superstars. Which, by the way, Sonic Superstars was technically not known. That was a surprise heading into or coming out of Summer Game Fest. So, to be fair, nailing the exact name of a Sonic game, that's pretty interesting. And look... That's something, right? That's something. Again, could have just been a lucky guess. They also said back on May 29th that that would be the week that everybody's 1-2 Switch would be announced. Uh, they said Nintendo will announce a new first-party game this week, which is a sequel to a game released in 2017. And obviously, we found out that was everybody's 1-2 Switch. Uh, they also got some other stuff like saying like a new Samba de Amigo game will be announced soon, and that happened in the February Direct. A new Armored Core, and that happened, you know, whatever, and that was announced way back when. So the point is that they have a little bit of a track record here of getting stuff correct, but of note, again, we've been down this road before. I don't really know how else to verify the track record of this Twitter user. If you guys have a way 
so you could verify it. Hey, go ahead and do it for me and provide the evidence because I went through three different websites looking at old tweets, looking at deleted tweets, and not seeing any red flags. So what is this person saying? Anyways, is going to happen at this direct that either happens tomorrow or, well, not tomorrow, but either happens Wednesday or Thursday, right? That Those are the two days this week. It can happen to either be announced tomorrow for Wednesday or be announced on Wednesday for Thursday. At least that's what people are saying. I don't really know. Nate the Hate so far has only commented that it would be happening like in June or that we shouldn't rule out June. But other people I've like, you know, like that uh, Brazilian website we talked about yesterday is literally saying it's happening this week, either Wednesday or Thursday. Look, I don't have any sources on this, but we're going to talk about this because this is very interesting. So this person put out there and said, in case you're wondering what games will be announced in this week's Nintendo Direct, there will be a new 2D Super Mario Bros. game and a remake of a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic. Now, that could be anything. That could be anything. We don't really know what it is, but it could be anything. Now, they went on to uh, post a few things that have people making some guesses. As an example, that this will not appear in the title, the word new. If you guys remember the 2D, last 2D Mario games, all had like new Super Mario Bros. and stuff. So it's not going to be part of that line. Apparently, it's going to be an all new 2D side scrolling Mario game, which I think is what most people expected. And the other weird thing is they posted up a GIF, a meme GIF of uh, Yoshi, making people think obviously of games like Yoshi's Island, uh, especially the one they used that FX chip back in the day on the Super Nintendo. So, yeah, you have people kind of speculating that maybe that's the other uh, Super Nintendo game coming back, getting a remake, etc. I don't know, guys. This is just a lot of speculation and guesswork at this time. Now, there's obviously some things we do expect to see if there is a direct this week. As an example, the next wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, right? Like that, we, we should be seeing that or at least getting it teased. Even if it doesn't come out this month, let's say it doesn't come out till July, we don't know. We should be seeing it though, right? It should be getting advertised. We should be getting advertisements for other DLC that's already been announced. I know many of you are expecting Tears of the Kingdom DLC at the next Direct, be it this week, next week, whenever. Uh, and, you know, that's probably a reasonable expectation at this point. They've really slowed down on updating the game ever since they released that update that kind of nixed the most popular duplication glitch, at least the easiest ones to pull off. There hasn't really been any more updates to the game, so people kind of figure maybe they're just all in on this DLC, and sure, that possibly could happen. I haven't beaten Tears of the Kingdom story yet, so I don't even know what directions this the, this could take, especially if there's story DLC, but a lot of people think that could be happening. There's a lot of possibilities here. Some people even think we might hear about a 3D Mario. There was that fake leak. Oh my gosh. Do we even go over this? Look, here it is. This stupid fake leak that people tried to tell me was real. It came from Reddit or something. It's not. I'm going to tell you right now, Nintendo Directs have had leaks in the past of some of the games in the presentation. They've had leaks of half or a third of the games in a presentation, but they've never released in a document form like this. So the, you, all these documents, and by the way, I used to cover these years and years, like decade ago. Uh, they're just not. They're just not something that are worth doing anything but either having fun speculation about or just laughing at. Right? They're not meant to really be taken seriously, or at least they shouldn't be taken seriously because they're always fake. There's no PDF files or magic emails floating around that have the entire list of everything that's in their direct. In fact, I don't even think that's how Nintendo, I don't even think Nintendo has a giant compilation list of everything that's in the direct. And one reason is to prevent leaks. So anyways, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you excited for a potential new 2D Super Mario Bros. game? By the way, Zippo said that there was going to be a 2D thing as well. I, I don't know how much you guys trust Zippo anymore. He hasn't been right in a very long time. So at this point, he's got so many, you know, I don't know, flies stuck on the fly paper that one of them's going to turn out to be real at some point. Oh, man, this is what happens, guys. We, we are so hyped for the next Direct. We're so excited for what it is. We want every little morsel there can be. Really, we just need the event to get here. And all I know is if there's a new 2D uh, Mario game here or a Yoshi's Island or something like that, I'm going to be really, really excited because those are some of my favorite franchises. And Yoshi's Island in particular, we hardly basically don't get anymore. We get Yoshi games still. And the new Yoshi line of games is certainly really, really good. But not on the, you know, they're not Yoshi Island games, right? That's a very specific line of Yoshi games. 
And yeah, obviously a, a, a side-scrolling Mario game. Last one we got was back in 2012 at the launch of Wii U. So it's been over a decade. It's it's definitely time for another one. But what are they going to do with it? What's the art direction going to look like? That's another thing people want to know. Because if you're if you're going to differentiate from the new Super Mario Brothers line, then you can't really go with that style. So you're going to have something that's different. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Do you believe in this? Do you just want to believe because you want to believe a direct is happening? I want to believe a direct is happening. And hopefully we find out in less than 24 hours. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll catch you in the next video.